Here is my bag of ink bird carcasses. You can see there's two in here, which no longer work, and one was only about three or four weeks old. It is unfortunate. Hey guys, I realized I hadn't yet done a video on how well the um, torque percentage controller actually works to humidify um, my fruiting room. Um, obviously a few videos ago I, I made a quick clip on just the installation of this torque percentage controller but I didn't really show you how well it humidifies the room. Um, I have used that torque percentage controller to replace the ink bird controller which um, this is my third one. I've actually got a box inside with, um, with two dead ones in it. One was only about two or three weeks old as well. Um, and I've used it to replace this here. This, um, is, I've, I've kept it here just so it tells me the humidity in the room, but that's already way out. No matter how much humidity you pump in there, it kind of sits around 92. So the ink birds, you know, they're a bit, the temperature one works all right, but the humidif humidifying ink bird is, um, is pretty hit and miss. And if you're going to go do any serious mushroom growing, like pff, I wouldn't use them, I would move to a, some type of percentage controller. I've found a torque percentage controller has been brilliant. So, um, We'll take inside the um, breeding room and you can see as soon as we walk in here you can see it's got that nice cloud or mist in the air. Um, this is depending on, on how, how often I, I cycle the percentage control so some days I'll have it on and some days I'll completely turn it off and let the, the humidity kind of fluctuate and I've got it on now because I'm just trying to get a second flush out of some of these um, these oyster bags up here. You can see my shiitake is growing but you can see that's on right now. Um, and that's on for about about 15 percent of every two minutes so I think I usually keep it on for um, and that's enough to really get the humidity up in here you can see it's sort of permanently like this um, you can you can I have tried a few other different settings for like four minutes five minutes and a percentage of that but I like to keep it down on a two minute cycle and sort of on for about 15 percent of that two minute cycle um, however many seconds that might be um, so I'm really happy with it and it's enabled me to really dial in the humidity of this room. Of course you can, by turning it down, it cycle, it's cycle down, turning the percentage of the cycle down, decreasing it, you can actually really start to fine tune the humidity in this room. Um, I didn't like the, one of the big faults with the ink bird was that it would detect a low humidity and it would turn on um, but by the time it detected the low humidity the humidity had dropped even lower than that because they I, I, I swear it was like a five minute delay and by the time that probe actually detected something and then it would start pumping humidity into the ear um, and as it was pumping humidity into the ear the ear would hit that humidity level you want but of course the probes delayed and so I'd push right past it and um, and it would, it would over humidify the room and then the room humidity would drop and the big thing for me was that I couldn't get my oysters to pin that like weeks they're sitting here for three weeks and they're only just start pinning but with the talk I mean I sit a, I sit oyster mushrooms in here for two or three days and the pins are coming out so um, it's really made a considerable difference and it's really helped me dial in that fruiting time especially for the um, for the oysters so um so yeah that's my controller there you can see it should be turning back on any second now. It's, it's kind of clearing up in here because I've got the door open behind me. Um, there we go, and it's just come back on. So you can see down here, um, there's a nice mist coming out, and this will just do this all day until I turn it off. As I said, I usually, I usually when I put my oyster bags in here, I crank the humidity up. And then once I start fruiting, I, I drop that humidity right down. The shiitake don't like it too high. But yeah, so I'm really happy with the torque controller. Um, I, I, yeah, I wouldn't go to an inkbird. I'd ne never go back to one. Even it's, I mean, you can see the inkbird right now is showing 92.7 relative humidity. And I've got my little Thermo Pro in here. And that's showing 99% on there. Um, it actually says two degrees. It's not two degrees. That, that I've got another probe in the, in the fridge, which is detecting the temperature of the fridge. It's actually 14.8 in here. But um, yeah, so that says it's 99% humidity in here, which is um, I would believe it is with the amount of um, moisture in the air. Um, 
I just have it like that, as I said, while I'm trying to get more oysters for it. So yeah, that's the, that's the uh, torque controller for mushroom growing. Um, if you are mushroom growing, I recommend buying one over the Inkbird. Um, yeah, the Inkbird's been really good. The Inkbird temperature controller's been really good, but the humidity one is, uh, is not that good.